Hi guys, welcome back. Do you want to understand how S4 HANA General Ledger Accounting simplifies the business process? So in this video, I am going to explain all the key features which are there in your General Ledger Accounting, particularly in S4 HANA. So we are going to cover universal general concept, the ledger concept and uh, how it is going to help us or how it is going to improve our financial reporting. So this video is basically to help you to understand the business process and if you are there as a key member in your current implementation project or uh, you right now you are working on business analyst, so this one is going to help you. So let's take the first point that is general ledger accounting in S4 HANA and uh, here we will discuss about the role of general ledger in financial accounting. So as you know that one of our important business process that is record to report and in record to report uh, we are doing multiple activities we are going to discuss now and uh, very important aspect on record to report is your general ledger accounting and when we are using this one on S4 HANA so that time we are saying that GL on S4 HANA or general ledger on your financial accounting. So what are the features are available here and how we are going to simplify here. So the first point we will take here, it is going to help us centralize financial recording. So what, what is the meaning of financial uh, record keeping or financial bookkeeping? As you know that the general ledger is one of our master record like your other master ledger, customer and vendor but those are you known as your sub ledgers. So general ledger is our master record and it helps for financial transaction purpose. So whenever you are going to post any transactions related to maybe expenditure, maybe revenue or any reconciliation account directly or indirectly in the books of accounts. Uh, in particularly in ERP and I am taking here example of S4 HANA. So always we need the general ledger accounting and general ledger accounting is not only uh, SAP specific in other ERPs are also you will find general ledger accounting uh, are there but of obviously in S4 HANA we have many features are available. So first of all it is one master record for recording of various type of transactions. So it is going to consolidate data from various sub ledgers like your customers vendors and your asset and for every sub ledger you are going to have your corresponding reconciliation account for example customer so customer reconciliation account as your account receivable so when we are going to prepare our balance sheet so in balance sheet we are going to show that this is our receivable and we have not received this so we are not going to say like uh, we have 100 customers are there for different customers we have different open items or receivable items are there in that way we are not sh showing in our balance sheet in balance sheet you are showing that consolidated balance of your accounts receivable this much so that means all some reconciliation here happen between your sub ledgers like your customers and the reconciliation account and particularly that reconciliation account is your GL master same concept on your accounts payable reconciliation with your vendor and asset accounting too. So that's why customer, vendor and your asset sub ledgers and its corresponding reconciliation accounts like your accounts payable, account receivable and your asset accounting or which you are saying that APC accounts. So we identify this is our master record for central purpose or centralized record keeping point of view. Next point is your it is going to help us for your accurate financial reporting. So once the master records are identified, then we are using those GL masters for business process transactions like you are going to post various type of transactions, right? So you are going to use those for our day to day operation as well as for the reporting point of view. That means in end, we are going to have income statement, balance sheet, cash flow. For that also, we need to have the GL accounting is required. And also it is very important, the general ledger accounting should be connected with your accounting principles. So whether you are going to use one accounting principle or you are going to use multiple accounting principles like your I FRS, local gap, any uh, local regulations point of view, whatever the accurance, uh, accounting principles we are going to use or accounting standards we are going to use. So there you will find the use of general ledger accounting as well, right? So it is also required for our legal compliance point of view. Third point, it is also going to help us for real-time financial analysis. All these points in uh, later we will see in more detailed way. So it is going to help us for supporting or it supposed our uh, real-time financial analysis. So what is the meaning of real-time financial analysis? So as you know that previously we have uh, the old technology that is your ACC technology. So in ECC technology we have separate areas are there like 
financial accounting is a different one and your management accounting or controlling is different one so we have different set of informations was there in different different tables but now in s4 hana with the concept of universal journal or ac docket table as a business analyst you no need to worry about the table but as a consultant point of view you should know this one but you can say very simple language it's a common place where all type of transactions will be recorded whether it is related to customer open items supplier open items related to asset related to any gl transactions anything any financial transaction actual transactions will be recorded in the ac docket table and it is not only related to finance although it is a finance table but it is also going to cover or it is going to include other data like your management accounting your financial supply chain data so everything so that means your ac docket table is going to provide us a real time financial insights and it also eliminates the reconciliation between your other modules like your fi and the controlling the reconciliation will not be there so if i am the business user or if i am the analyst so basically i am going to work on uh, multiple data so for that purpose whatever the uh, like we are going from where we are going to pull the data for our reporting point of view simply just one table mostly we are going to use ac docket so in this way your a lot of data footprints are going to reduced and also your business process will be simplified because everything is available in your ac docket table and as here reconciliation part is eliminated so we have very less load on our day to day operation and particularly month end activities are also simplified so you can see this image how uh, this universal journal contain all type of uh, data so it, it includes finance controlling reconciliations everything everything is there in the ac docket table now uh, coming to next one so financial analysis point of view support real time financial as analysis as well as the parallel accounting so now business can maintain multiple accounting principles like in this exam, uh, image you can see so this is my company code and this company code using multiple ledgers so leading ledger my primary ledger additional ledgers like your non leading ledger and extension ledger for multiple accounting principle point of view so every accounting principle is connected with the ledger so here we can have with the same entity with the same operations uh, with the same um, like you can say company code we have multiple accounting principles we can use and which is nothing but your parallel accounting so when any multinational companies they are operating on under different regulatory different country different uh, legal requirement it is very very helpful so instead of adding multiple company code just with one company code they can add multiple ledgers and they can maintain their books of accounts parallelly so that's why it is known as or it is going to help us for our parallel accounting point of view also and also you will find here our uh, month end activities are very very simplified and it is also like audit point of view it is also going to uh, help a lot so it is going to help in month end activities your year end activities so basically you can say the closing activities we are going to uh, simplify the process because as here everything in one place so reconciliation almost nil so when uh, we are not going to pull the data from different different sources and we are not going to do the manual reconciliation of course our financial consolidation our uh, data readiness so all these things will be smoother and it will be uh, easy to operate right so this is how the general ledger accounting is helpful for us now let's understand what is the concept of universal journal which i uh, explained that time so ac docket table or universal journal so universal journal is your backbone of your all your fi reporting or your controlling reporting anything so that means uh, everything is part of your universal journal in s4 hana so basically if i will give you the idea uh, in old system we have so many different tables are there like if i need to pull the customer data receivable data then i have a separate table bsid table if i have uh, uh, supplier open item table that is a different table so we have mainly different type of tables are there like some tables are your index tables then we have some aggregate tables then we have our total tables so it is very very complicated not only for the developer consultants and also for the business users so various type of data is available in different different tables so as a result when we have to prepare any report we have to pull the data from different tables and of course reconciliation will be there but in s4 hana with introduction of this ac docket table or universal journal so it combines all type of data so it is it is going to combine the data from finance means fi or your external reporting your management accounting controlling 
in one single table okay so you can see this image here all type of data is available it also going to eliminate the lot of data duplicacies earlier what happened whatever is there in my fi table let's say fagel flex are updated for same i have also updated coep because cost object data you will find in the coep so ultimately my business user or business users are going to have two reports one fi report and another one is your cost object report now reporting part will be same output will be same but process is simplified both my financial accounting data and my management accounting data is available in the same table so as a result instead of generating two documents or multiple documents now we have only one document so that's why i'm saying that it is also going to eliminate our data duplicates duplicacy as well as it is also going to have a uh, real time financial reporting anything you are going to do in the fi similar immediately you are going to update in the co if you are going to do something in controlling then you are going to have the fi also right so that is another benefit or that is the key benefit of universal general then coming to the ledger concept so we have different type of ledgers are there already i prepared uh, videos on the ledger concept so if you can uh, i will add that in the i button you can check that one for more clarity on the ledger but we have the feature of ledger concept is there so here you are going to have the primary ledger which is your leading ledger that is all your operational data we are going to maintain on this uh, primary ledger and it is mandated to have for every company code your primary ledger will be leading ledger other ledgers you may or may not depends on the requirement if we don't have any other accounting principle so in that case we will not go for any other ledger but leading ledger or your primary ledger must have so we are working on the ledger approach so that is one ledger then we are going to have another ledger like your non leading ledger so both your leading and non leading ledger uh, you can uh, that will be there in the s4 as well and another important feature here we are going to have the extension ledger so extension ledger which was not there in the old system so extension ledger is going to provide you the flexibility of your parallel accounting without having the duplicate data because in your non leading ledger duplicacy a major problem although we have benefits of non leading ledger but still duplicacy a major problem so that part we resolve here extension ledger which we can use in different business process i already prepared videos on extension ledger you can check that also right so uh, uh, what will be the another benefit so benefit will be the real time integration with our controlling i already prepared video on that i will add that in the i button you can refer that one for more detailed way so real time integration with your controlling is very very essential or it is a very important feature which is there in the s4 so no need to do any reconciliation between fi and co so both use the same data uh, or same database that is or same table that is your ac docket table that is another benefit here right another one is your cost element so cost element in ecc if i need to use the management accounting and to record any transactions along with the fi with cost object so first i need to create a gl master and the same gl master i need to convert into cost element so primary cost element secondary cost element so multiple cost elements we are cre creating and also the secondary cost elements are not part of chart of account that will create another problem but now this part is simplified in s4 because now cost elements are part of your gl account so whether your primary cost element or secondary cost element so everything is part of your Char uh, chart of account and it is simply you can say gl so this part is also simplified so we have segment reporting is also there so it is going to help us for financial reporting at segment level uh, along with your other accounting principles so parallel accounting i already explained so it is going to support multiple accounting uh, principles right so th that is also that means uh, we can use uh, multiple accounting principle another very important feature that is your document splitting again already have video you can check that you can uh, get more clarity on that so what is document splitting whenever we are going to have any transactions will be posted with multiple characteristics like your profit center segment then in entry view you have a uh, few, few informations are there you can see this image for entry view where you can see profit centers are not yet updated fully in every line item so as a result you are going to have the reporting issue will be there but if you are going to adopt the document splitting features or document uh, uh, document splitting functionality so in that case you are going to have a balanced characteristics for example profit center accounting so system is automatically split all your accounting documents based on your 
predefined characteristics. So this is a must have feature. Every company should use that particular one and uh, it is uh, good. I mean, you can say uh, when, in which operation we are going to use document splitting in every operations. So that means for at company code, we are once we are going to activate it. So everywhere we are going to use document splitting, whether it is related to invoice, collection, asset, reconciliation, so everywhere. So that we are going to have a balanced or a profit center wise, segment wise, business area wise, we have the balancing reporting will be there. Then uh, coming to uh, foreign currency valuation, again for this also I already prepared the detailed video, you can check that one. So foreign currency valuation when we are going to have multi-currency transactions will be there and as we know that we are operating in different countries and we have different currency reporting will be there. So it, it, this particular feature is going to provide us multi-currency processing as well as the valuations because as we know that our buying rate is different, selling rate is different, transaction rate will be different whereas in the month end or as a part of period and activities we have to evaluate our line items, we have to evaluate our invoices, our GL balances it is required. So for that purpose, foreign currency valuation is required and with S4 part of, as a part of GL accounting, that feature is also available. But again, very quickly I'm explaining these things. You need to practice all these areas when uh, you will answer these things in your interview because once you'll practice it, you will get more confidence on your answer. So it is going to help us for our fast period and closing activities. Now coming to difference between ECC and S4 HANA. So many features are there. So everything in a short video, it is not a possible to explain. Very uh, quickly, uh, some important points I'm explaining here. So when in ECC, we have multiple tables are there. I already explained different type of tables are there, which is related to customer specific, supplier specific, asset specific, index, aggregate, all those things are eliminated. Now we are going to have only one table, table that is your AC docket table. So AC doc A is going to replace your multiple tables, not only related to finance, related to controlling, related to secondary uh, cost element related tables. So everything is part of your AC doc A table, right? So there will be uh, in ECC we have, uh, for example, let's say you are doing a month end allocation by using secondary cost element. So that time the total document, whatever it is generated after allocation, it is part of your COSS table. Now this one is not going to update in your FI because you did something in the finance zone, uh, in controlling only. As a result, FICO reconciliation will be there. Whereas now this table is no more available. Right? So it's not deleted, it's again another concept compatibility view. So this table data now it will be there in the AC docket table. When you posted the transaction originally it was there in the AC docket table and when you are going to have a document uh, here for this reconciliation point of view, that one is also going to generate a financed document too. Now coming to the next point, new GL ledger concept extension ledger. So although many companies they never use the ledger concept for them, leading and non-leading ledger a new concept, but I'm assuming that in ECC6 where company already using the uh, no, uh, new GL concept, for them extension ledger is a new concept. So by using this extension ledger, it is going to, uh, in ECC we have uh, ledger specific transactions was there, which is, uh, th that is known as your, you can say, uh, special purpose ledgers we are using. Those things are replaced now in S4 HANA with extension ledger. So in S4 HANA with the introduction of your extension ledger which is going to reduce the data footprint because it is not going to generate any duplicate data while we are having or we are going to use the parallel accounting. So that is again another feature here. Then uh, cost element part I already explained. So uh, real-time financial closing for our faster processing will be there because in S4 uh, we don't have any FIC or reconciliation will, issue will be there because both the things are part of your AC docket table. In ECC we uh, like we are going to have multiple closing activities are there, bad jobs are there. As a result your closing delay will be there whereas in S4 uh, real-time data processing. Real-time data means whenever we are doing in any part, automatically we are going to update in the GL. So any user is not going to do anything. For example, asset. So uh, when asset team is going to work on their part, so your GL or reconciliation account is going to update. So as a result, the use of ABST2 now not required. So everywhere you will find real-time data update or real-time reporting, real-time processing, anything you can say. So that is again another feature here. Uh, in our S4 HANA. So I already explained the concept of universal journal and how it is helpful in our S4 system or in our day-to-day -day operations. So if you have any questions, if you are not getting any 
point any clarification is required let me know that point i will explain in more detail way but already i have videos are there on every point so that's why it's a quick reference i prepared here so that it will help you for your interview preparation for interview and particularly in this way you need to present in your interview but again i will request whatever uh, concepts i explain here you have to work in the system because i believe once you will do something in the system or you will do the hands on you will get more clarity as well as you will get more confidence on your answer see you soon on another video thank you